Prescott Van Meyer III sommelier from home. Today is a special episode as we open up a gift from one of our viewers, Talisker Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. And I can't stress enough how much I like slash need gifts. So, Joseph, thank you so much. I know it took some time for me to get to this episode, but we are here to try this very smoky, peaty Scotch whiskey. And I was told that this has enough fumes to to melt the hair off your chest. Well, the joke's on you, Joseph. I don't have any hair on my chest, just around the nipples. A very strange, thick circle of hair around each nipple, and uh, that's it. Well, I am very excited about trying this beverage. It is a top shelf single malt scotch, somewhere between $75, $100, depending on where you're purchasing it from. But this is made on the Isle of Skye in Scotland. A little gold island right there, right at the top. Isle of Skye where we make our single malt scotch whiskey. They even give you latitude, longitude, all the maritime information you would need to sail the open seas to get to the Isle of Skye. So we're going 20 knots on the open sea to the Isle of Skye. Well, I binged at Talisker earlier today, and it is said online that the rocky, rugged pinnacles and high cliffs really adds quite a smoky, intense element of flavor to this particular scotch. So, yeah. These nipple hairs are getting singed right off. <laughs> and that was all that Bing let me read because I ran out of Bing coins. So, you know, hopefully I can get some more. <laughs> if you can gift me some Bing coins, that would be as appreciated as this wonderful scotch. So this scotch comes in at 45.8% alcohol. They're very particular with that. I'm gonna try it neat and straight, but I'm also gonna try it with just a splash of water to get it down to that really nice drinkable 35% alcohol. So let's open it up, take a look at the bottle. Ooh, I've got uh, an insignia right here. It looks like a lion mermaid. So a um, uh, merlion. Maid is the human part, right? Mer is the fish part. So it's a merlion, not a mermaid. I think I got that right. So I guess fair warning, if you are making that trek across the open seas to the Isle of Skye, there might be some merlions in the waters waiting for you. Gobble, gobble. Don't be fooled. Keep the main thing the main thing. They start roaring at you. You find yourself wanting to jump in those icy waters to join them. <laughs> well, just ignore them. Beautiful amber color, really nice, and they are so proud. Made by the sea. I mistook that for a second, and I thought they were claiming that it was made by the sea. But it's not, it's made by the sea. Adjacent to the sea, not made from sea water. I mean, it makes sense with that many merlions right off the shore. You can't just go you know, make scotch in the sea. The merlions will get you. So we'll just make it adjacent to the sea. Waving at the little merlions. Maybe the merlions have their own scotch and Talsker made their own. That sounds like a copyright issue there, you know? They're putting merlions on their label, but the merlions are making their own scotch. <laughs> you know, where does it end? Get all the way up to the Supreme Court? Does Scotland have a Supreme Court? Does the kingdom of merlions have a Supreme Court? I wouldn't be shocked. Anyways, let's open this up and uh, give it a smell. Digging it big time. Very smooth, very crystal clear, but just has this beautiful, rich caramel color to it. That, hmm. Let it breathe just a little. Wow. I want to talk about the smells, but I just want to experience it first. I mean, it has everything you would want in the aroma of a quality scotch. Very peaty, very mossy, hints of leather, tobacco, and no sweetness at all coming off. So it's just very earthy. Very rich, very complex. Mmm. All right, let's give it a taste. This time, I'm just gonna take it full on, not watering it down at all. Here we go. Ooh. The heat from 45% alcohol is pretty intense, but that mossiness that is spectacular. Lost a couple of nipple hairs there. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That's, that's nice. I like that. Take another sip. Give me just a minute. Oh, God, that's nice. That's f magic, isn't it? Woof. 
That's an intense experience. Let's water it down just a little bit, get it at 35% range. Here we go. Mm. Bringing that alcohol down allows you to sip on this in a way. Don't use ice. Please don't put ice in your scotch. You're just gonna continuously have a weaker and weaker experience. A little splash of cool water, that's what you want. And what this allows is because it cuts that alcohol down, the alcohol still cleans your mouth, but it doesn't overpower your mouth, so you're just tasting this incredible scotch. That is absolutely wonderful. This is one of my top scotch experiences of my life. I'm glad you're here with me. And Joseph, thank you. Thank you for this. This means a lot to me. And to the Merlions, I don't know if you've made a scotch or not, but if it's as good as this, then you deserve a Supreme Court. And to the Merlionesses, I'll see you in my dreams. I mean, lionesses, no, no, you know, that's weird. But merlionesses, <laughs> come on. Ooh, that, I've, the scotch is in me. Feeling it. Like I said, receiving gifts, much appreciated, you know? So, have at it. Except that guy named Lou from New Jersey who sent me the Spearnoff ice. F you. You iced me, but f you. One of the worst experiences of my life in the past three years. <laughs> and I saw my wife going to the off-brand Who would be drinking this? Scotch snobs everywhere should enjoy this Talisker single malt scotch whiskey. Also, merlions who have abandoned their own people, who wish to walk on the land, have possibly made a deal with an eight-legged creature in the bottom of the sea. Rhymes with Persila. Not sure I can say her name because Disney, boy, they'll sue the shit out of you. And the Cliffsmen, who call out to the Merlions in an act of diplomacy and friendship. Our two kingdoms should not be at war, they should be at peace, and they should enjoy the fruit of their labor, the scotch together, as equals. From my rating of zero to 100, I'm giving the Talisker Single Malt Scotch Whiskey a 94. This is a top shelf, exceptional scotch. If you've tried scotch and you enjoyed it, you wanna see if you like something a little more mature, something that'll burn the strange hedge of nipple hair right off your chest, even a scorch mark in your shirts, you could do worse than trying Talisker. All right, I'm gonna put some aloe vera on these puppies. But I'll be back. I love you. It's magic. It's f***ing magic. Oh, a sailor's life is the life for me. I don't know the words, but I'll keep singing.